Right, welcome back to part two of the gas bottle barbecue. See, I got it. <laughs> got it in the head. Right. Anyway, first of all, um, I've got another sticker that came halfway through building the first part of that barbecue. So I'm going to mention him now. Right. His name is Alan Schnell. Chanel, Chanel, there he is there. I do apologize, Alan, if I pronounce your name wrong. But anyway, um, a note from Alan. Hi Richard, thanks for the sticker swap, man. It's great to get something personal from another maker. All the best, Alan. Right, thanks Alan, I'm gonna stick it straight up now. I actually <laughs> spent a couple of minutes with a razor blade. Um, oh, oh. Getting it off the uh, off the sticky back stuff, right? So there it is. Let's stick it. There you go, Alan. Uh, thanks very much. It's on the board. What I'm going to do? You can't really see what's on there, so I'm just going to. So. Bearded Woodworker, John Clothier, that's a pause. Uh, the, sorry, the Bearded Giant, I do apologize. That's the Bearded Woodworker. There's Alan's uh, wood turning. Um, taste the Code, another one of the Bearded Giant. Pam Harris, Dave G Designs, Big Boys DIY. Carmichael workshop and that's just a scale camp. What I do every now and again is uh, because you can't really see my stickers and I, I really want you guys out there to benefit from them being on there. I know I've not got a lot of subscribers and not a lot of views but there may be one person out there that sees your sticker and thinks I'll check that guy or girl out. So every now and again I'm just going to do a quick close-up of the stickers. <laughs> right so I'm going to crack on. The next step on the barbecue is to cut uh, and weld the hinges on the back, um, bolt that on, then I'll go ahead and put the handle on the front. I've got some nice twisted, um, I'll show you. Ow. I wish I had that on camera because this little sucker fell down from the roof space and whacked me right on the head. Anyway. So I've got this twisted iron, twisted steel. That's gonna be the handle. So that should look quite nice. Um, and then once the handle's done, I'm gonna weld the brackets in for the grate to sit on top of. And then it's just spraying it. Um, and then when it's sprayed, gum tree. Hopefully, um, we can, I can produce some better sound. Because this GoPro is wicked, I love it, but it's got three microphones and sometimes they kind of do some funky stuff. Anyway, right, I'm gonna crack on with it. So there we are so far. 
hinges are on. Those not those are not the bolts I'm going to use um, when it's finished. Uh, I just stuck those in just temporarily so that I could match up uh, the angles of the hinges. But you can see how far back it comes. I didn't want to use um, normal hinges because I didn't want this too close to there, if you know what I mean. I wanted it to go back far enough um, that it's going to be out of the way. Maybe I could put chains up there. Um, I don't know. Could put cooked burgers on there or something, I don't know. <laughs> right, so next step, we've got to put the um, supports in for the, the grill. Um, and then the handle, and then paint it. Am I the only one that ever does that? Uh, I've lost my Sharpie. I'll put it down and then it vanishes. Right, as you can see, um, I've changed this crap thing out. Uh, I mean, look at it. It's just cheap and flimsy. There's no way I'm putting my name to that and there's no way I'm gonna sell summer on Gumtree as crap as that. Anyway, so this stuff, you can probably see it behind here. Um, I've used this in the past for barbecues and, and wood burners. It is super strong stuff. Um, it doesn't flex in any way, so I'm happy with that. Right, next thing. Got a stick handle on it. Okay, so there you go. What I've done off camera is um, I've gone over it with the uh, the wire brush, not this wire brush, this wire brush. I put it on the um, on the battery powered um, grinder because to tell you the truth, it scares the hell out of me on the uh, the two forty volt. I just. Just had this bad feeling that it's going to come off and and remove flesh. Anyway, this does light work of it. Okay, time for a bit of paint. Right, so there you go. Turned out all right, actually, in the end. I will end up putting um, a few chains on the side, I think. Just so, <clears throat> just so when you open the lid, it, uh, it stays there. Right, 
thanks for watching and um, I'm going to put this on Gumtree now unless any of you guys want to come down and bite off me a nice trip to sunny Dorset well it's raining today it's usually sunny um, yeah so I'm going to put it on Gumtree and hopefully it will sell and improve my sound a little bit with the new microphone yeah right um, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next vlog or the next build